Let's go. All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Grand Iron Power Hour, the show about football and beyond from the men and women's point of view and perspective. I am your host, Justin Fitzgerald, and today, my co-host, Luther King. Luther, say hi to the folks. Yeah. Now, going around the NFL today, it turns out that the game between the Tennessee Titans and the Pittsburgh Steelers has been postponed until October 25th. Because 14 members of the Titans personnel, that means seven players and seven members of the personnel have came down with COVID-19. And earlier today, what did I see? Yes. A couple of defensive tackles were on that list. Yeah. Jeffrey Simmons just got put on the list Friday. Daquan Jones was first on that list. Yep. Titans linebacker slash hybrid corner. Mm-hmm. And oh, some yeah. members of the Titans personnel. On that list. Yeah, and some t- members of the Titans coaching personnel. And Titans long snappers slash Brett Kearns trusted snapper for Gostowski. Bo Brinkley is also on that list. Mm-hmm. So the Titans have some folk of importance out, which means at the moment, no Steelers until week seven, and the Bills game could be in jeopardy. And the Patriots and the Patriots uh, Chiefs game could be in jeopardy too, because Cam Newton, as of late last night, tested positive for COVID-19. And so did a Kansas City Chief player. It was their backup, I believe. They said corner, I believe. Yeah. So he is out. So the NFL is trying to figure out if they're going to do a double header on Monday, which they were thinking about. Nope. If the Titans Steelers game was in place. They put they pushed it. They pushed it to week seven. That they also would have had if more outbreaks of the Titans wouldn't have happened on a Tuesday. So hopefully we'll find something out. I already I have already found out. Since the Titans were supposed to have a week, a bye week on week seven, their bye week is now going to be tomorrow. It's this weekend. So yes. They will be playing in on the twenty fifth, or when they were supposed to have their bye week. Which means they will be playing three months and a week of straight football yeah. without a break. And from the Green Bay Packers, Devontae Adams is questionable for Monday night due to a shoulder injury. Has he, has, he, has he been downgraded to out again for this week? Nah, he's questionable for tomorrow. He's okay, questionable. He's Actually, he's questionable for Monday night. I know he didn't. I know he didn't play eight days last weekend in New Orleans because he was out last weekend. Yeah, he, they didn't even play him at all. Yeah. So I don't know if he will play or not. Yeah. So that one's up in the air. That's a big one for the Packers. Meanwhile, Atlanta, besides their injured defense. They may have two players out as well. Julio mm-hmm. Jones and Calvin Ridley are also questionable for Monday night. Yep. But if they don't play, that means Matt Ryan will be two less receivers in his tools box to work with. Yep. And I just and watch, I just finished watching the final quarter of the Oklahoma, Oklahoma State and Kansas game. Oklahoma State beats Kansas a score of forty seven to seven. So oh my lord, Kansas got a, got that donut that Big old donut hole off the floor. Yeah. yeah. They still lose by 40 games. Yeah. And in a, coming up in a few moments is the Auburn Georgia game. That will be in that 6 30 block with mm-hmm. Mississippi State, Arkansas, Vanderbilt getting murdered by LSU in Nashville. So if you see if you see blood and guts on the parking lot on the way out, that's why. Football team. Oh, here's a recap from the TCU Texas game. Texas just scored with 9 minutes and 57 seconds in the fourth quarter. The lead 27-26. Make that 29-26 with a two-point conversion was good. Uh-oh, but TCU came back. What the heck? The Horn Frogs is coming back in with a vengeance. With four minutes left on the clock, that score is 33-29. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. And with the final... TCU beats the Longhorns 33 to 31. 
Bye 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 ranking. That's okay. They still rank within the twenty top twenty five. With Tennessee at number twenty three. Texas is number nine. Well, they were at number six. They went down three. And good news, the Pac-12 is going to start their season next month. Well, unfortunately, they're going to be way behind everybody else. Yeah, they're going to have to play a lot of catch-up to catch up. The Mid-American Conference is also going to start their season, which means the one that will play playoffs can resume in peace. Yes. With a twist. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, they won't be doing without two bowl games this season. Actually, instead of the 2014 playoff, it is now reduced to the Sweet 16. This is football, and the basketball season is not even in effect yet. Well, same thing. Yeah. Oh, man. Texas A&M is getting clobbered by number two Alabama, score 52 to 13. Don't you mean 52 17? Oh, you're right. And Ole Miss is leading Kansas with eight, uh, Kentucky with eight minutes and twenty-three seconds on the clock and scored thirty-five to twenty-eight. Courtesy of the SEC Network, it's twenty-four fifty-two in a favor of Alabama with three minutes and twenty seconds left in the fourth quarter. And do you, do you think Texas A&M is going to score four touchdowns the way their offense has been looking? Yeah, no, nah, not in this lifetime. Florida, uh, Florida beat South Carolina by fourteen points, though. Florida beats uh, Florida beats uh, Arkansas on their home turf. No, that's they beat South Carolina on their home turf. Oh yeah, that's right. It scored a thirty-eight to twenty-four. Arkansas gets Mississippi State, sixteenth-ranked Mississippi State. That is yeesh. After beating LSU last week and smoking the dog snot out of them. Yep. Uh-huh. Also, along the lines of the NFL news, turn it turns out. That Roger Goodell, like this, Roger Goodell was not playing. There's another coach who got fined. This time it is Jason Garrett <laughs> of the Giants. No wonder why the New York Giants are over three. Uh, well, Mr. Garrett, your, your wallet just got lighter than Roger Goodell. He just got him. Giants, they would be losing to Jackets. Because the story that I heard speaking of that, big teams are caught not wearing masks or face coverings on the field or on the sideline. They yep. Are to suspension and lost the draft picks and a fine. Yep. They're gonna be the next team with a list of fines. I'm not Take surprised. Come here, And with the and with the way things are right now, it ain't no wonder no nobody's getting better. They're getting worse. I hope that they put that Patriots Chiefs game either on Tuesday or if they need to make the adjustment. The Patriots doubleheader game is tomorrow at three twenty-five. Well, that game will not be played at three twenty-five tomorrow. No. That means that they're still playing, but the Patriots is going with their backup. And guess who their backup happens to be? A name that everybody had quickly had forgotten about like 10 years ago. A name that nobody has even heard of since uh, Tim Tebow. He was the Browns' first pick in the first place. Colt McCoy! No, Colt McCoy. Even worse. The Patriots has got McCoy. Alright. This is going to be. They are probably. I'm wondering what the league is going to do. Since they're not going to play that game at 325. Or they're going to play that game as a first ever double. Uh, That game is at 325 because the game that's going to be playing at 12 o'clock will be a Bills game. I'm hoping 
as they put that game as a standalone, don't try to you know, <laughs> sit away with Green Bay Atlanta. All right. And here's a score recap. The UT Volunteers beat Mizzou 35 to 22. Oh. Yep, that, that was a that was a butt kicking of epic proportions. Oh, and you were right. You were right. The Chiefs Patriots game has been postponed too. So that's two games that's on the chopping block. Yeah, both teams have been. Both players players on both teams have tested positive. So the game will be either a part of the Denver Hammer on Monday or played on Tuesday. I'm hoping it's on Tuesday. I hope they don't try to do another NFL doubleheader. Because Chiefs Patriots will have a ratings nice pickup, but then they gotta figure out if they're gonna uh-huh. game on the It turns out game. that it was the backup QB from the Chiefs that tested positive. Yep. Oh no, three more it's three more Titans uh, personnel tested positive, one player and two staff members today. They're up to sixteen, eight each. They're up to 16, 8 each. 8 players and 8 members in the personnel. Well, at least, at least the good news is at least we got 2 off the list. They Which means the Titans Steelers game is going to be on the 25th. So that means the Titans and the Steelers, who both have a bye week in week 7, is going to be playing on week 7. Wait a minute, take that back. Their week 7 game is moved to week 8. Yep. Oi. And another news that Falcons has got another wide receiver banged up and they're expecting to play well, they, they against the Packers. What I saw from today that Ridley and Jones are questionable for Monday. Yep. And so is Devontae Adams yep. of, of Green Bay. Yep. Damn. So, and as usual, yep, Cam Newton tested positive. Yep. And so did the Chiefs backup QB, Jordan Tiamu. So Cam Newton has finally found a home in Green, in uh, New England after his long-term head coach went to Washington. action tonight on the ACC Network. Number one, Clemson takes on Virginia at 8 o'clock. North Carolina is taking on Boston College, but they're ahead by 12 points. Speaking of updates, that doesn't SMU. Yeah. Oh, Lord, North Carolina State, the Wolfpack beat Pitt by a point. Last yeah, 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Jacksonville State versus Florida State. Florida State leading by 10 points, 34 to 24. Oh my God, Mike Rogo could actually get a win for a change? Congratulations, give him a good Yeah! Virginia Tech leads Duke 31 to 28 with 6 minutes and 44 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Duke was leading that game. Yeah, they blew a lead. decided to wake up for a change. And Virginia Tech is without 21 players. And plus two coaches. Virginia Tech is playing with 21 players.